Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make this skull mask. It is super cute. Um, I did this kind of more like a younger child size. Um, so from earpiece to earpiece, it's 10 inches, which is 26 centimeters. And then from nose to chin, it's about 4 inches, which is 10 centimeters. We're going to use a 4 millimeter hook, but if you need this to be bigger for like a woman's medium or something, then use a probably a number 5 will work. If you need it smaller for a younger toddler or something, then I would just go down in size. You can just go down in size to what you think because there's a 4.5 um, for, for a toddler. You can use a 3.5. You might have to change to, if you go down to toddler size for a 3.5, you may have to change to a baby, a baby weight yarn, which is a 3. I'm going to be using 4, so I'm going to be using this color for the mask, but I'm going to be using red for the skull today. So we are going to start with the skull for all of those who would just want to know how to make a skull and not necessarily a mask. We will start with the skull. So you're just going to make a slip knot. I'm trying to use colors that you can see, okay? So you're going to chain 14. making sure your chain is straight. You're going to slip stitch into this first chain that you made. And from here you're going to chain 14. You're going to come all the way back down to that exact same spot and you're going to make another slip stitch. So that's what you should have. So at this point, you want to chain one and you're going to put 19 single crochets into this space. If it starts getting squishy, just push it all down. Nineteen. You're going to slip stitch into this space here. And then you're going to single crochet 19 into this space. So that's 19. I'll just push it all forward again, kind of make it even. And you're going to slip stitch right into the middle, keeping everything nice and tight. And you're going to fasten off. So 
so this is what you should have just like that so we're gonna reattach this is just the easiest way to do it to kind of keep everything even and be able to center things properly so make another slip knot So from the center, you're going to count back seven. So don't count this stitch here, count this stitch here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go into that stitch. Pull through and make a stitch. That's our first stitch. You're going to stitch back seven. Six, that's seven all together. Skip this stitch here, go into this one and single crochet, seven. Chain one and turn. So we're gonna do decrease rows for the next four rows, every single row is going to do, be a decreased row. So we're going to go in, grab some yarn, not do anything, go into your second stitch, grab some yarn. You should have three loops. You're going to yarn over and come through all three of those loops. So that's how you're going to single crochet two together and that's how you decrease at the beginning and at the end. Everything is just single crochets in the middle. So single crochet until you come back to the other side and you have two stitches left and then repeat that same decrease. So I have two stitches left so I'm going to do two together. Chain one, turn your work. That's row two. Well, it's technically row one of the decrease. We're doing four decreases, so five rows together. So another decrease. And the last two together. Chain one, turn your work. That's our second decrease row. Decrease. De decrease these two together. Chain one. Turn your work. So this is our last decrease row. Oops, I need one too many. Decrease. So 
So this will be a little rounder when we finish it off at the end. So you can fasten off again. So we can go to the other side and make our teeth and our nose space. And again, this is the only way that we can do it where it's going to be in the middle because I've made four, three or four skulls a different way and um, the nose was never centered. So as much as you know, I hate to disconnect and reconnect all the time. So make a slip knot. You're going to do just about the same thing as you did on the other side. This time, starting from the middle, so right where you fastened off there. This next stitch is going to be number one. You're going to count eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to go in there. And you're going to make a stitch. Then you're going to single crochet five, so that's two because this counts as our first stitch. Three, four, and five. So you're going to chain three. You're going to skip these three, and then you're going to skip these three, there's a stitch in there, so skip these three, skip these three, and go in to the other holes, the other one, the other stitch. Oh, I did one too many. Let me try that again. Get this piece of yarn out of the way. Pull that down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go into there, okay. I think that's what I did. So make a single crochet. And then you can single crochet four more. That gives you five all together. Chain one, turn your work. So you're going to skip the first one, skip that, and do four single crochets. That should bring you right to your nose hole. And into the nose hole, you're going to put three single crochets. So don't try to go into the stitches. Then you're going to do four single crochets on the other side. And you're going to skip this. You're going to skip this like we skipped the first one over here. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn. And you're going to single crochet all the way across. Which should be 11. So you're going to chain four, turn your work, you're going to skip this one and you're going to double crochet into this one. Skip that one, double crochet. So we're making our teeth. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next one. Chain one, 
Oh, my yarn split or something happened there. Must only grab part of my yarn. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. You're gonna do that till you get to the end. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. And I'm just going to put a double crochet into the end. So I got an oddball number, which is odd because I should not have. So somewhere I made a boo boo, but that's fine. I'm going to chain two. Actually, I'm going to chain four. Let's chain four. And you're going to double crochet right in to the top of that post. Chain one. Double crochet into the top of the second post. Oops. Chain one. Same thing. one and then for this you're just gonna find the second chain and you can just get into that somehow into that second chain and you can just put some teeth so I got all these things to cut off, but you get the idea from what you're looking at of what we did. So now we're just going to single crochet all the way around and clean it up a little bit. So you can chain one here and I would put two single crochets into this teeth part just because it's such a large hole. And then you can put a single crochet right into the middle there. And then two single crochets in there. And then for the rest of it, I, just wherever you can get your, your hook into, you're just gonna put a single crochet. So we're just putting a border around it, cleans it up, makes it look better, gives it a little bit more of a shape. And, um, if you're using a smaller needle than your yarn calls for, which I am, it's going to stiffen it up a little bit too. It's going to stop it from wiggling around and getting all out of shape on you. So whatever ends you can weave in while you're going along, I would just do that. It just will make your life a lot easier. So I've got one here. I'm just going to weave in. So I'll just jam your hook in wherever you can jam your hook in. There's real no rhyme or reason to it. I'm going to stop waving these in here because I don't want great big pieces over here. So I'll put two in your top teeth. One can go right into the middle. Put two in your bottom teeth. And I think this is where I'm going to fasten off because I'm going to sew along there anyway. And I just find it was kind of distorting it a little bit. So you can just fasten off and I would do it with a long enough tail to sew this on your mask after. Oh, what did I just do? It's got all tangled up. So we just gotta 
get rid of these guys. I'm just going to tie them together. Make a really tight double knot. So if you make a really tight double knot, the knot is really, really, t really tiny. So you can cut off as close to that knot as possible and you're not even going to tell. So there's our skull. Looks pretty cool. So this is what's going to go onto our mask. Oh, I'm going to cut these off. I weaved these in, so I'm just going to snip these off. There. So we can set this aside for now. And you can get whatever color of mask that you want. I am going to use off-white, which is probably not going to be easy to see. So I'll turn my lighting down a little bit. But I think for the most part, um, I've, I've got other videos you can follow masks. You, you don't have to make this specific style. You can make another style if you want. I don't like the end of that. So, because we're using a smaller hook, I'm not really going to change anything. Um, I've already made this mask before. It's actually my Yoda mask. But I made my Yoda mask with a 5. I'm going to make this one with a four because I want it to be a little bit smaller since I already have adult sizes and I don't have a, a whole crap ton of kids sizes. So it's pretty, it's pretty much going to be the same as my Yoda mask, but it's going to be nine rows instead of seven um, because I was using the five millimeter. So chain 31. Thirty one. So in the first stitch you can get into, you're going to put four single crochets along the chain, not in one space, four single crochets up the chain. You're going to do five half double crochets. You're going to do 12 double crochets. Sorry, I'm a ball stuck on the floor. So that's 12 double crochets. And now you're going to do the same thing you did on the other side. You're going to do five half double crochets. And four single crochets. one. <clears throat> Turn your work. 
you're going to repeat the exact same thing for nine rows. Four single crochets. Five half doubles. Twelve doubles. Five half doubles, and four singles. Chain one, turn your work. So row three, four single crochets, five half doubles, twelve doubles. Five half doubles, and four single crochets. So I'm going to leave you to this. We're um, going to be starting row four. You have to go to row nine. So I will put my pause screen up so you know what you're doing. And I will meet you right back here. And we'll put on the ear pieces and then sew on the skull. So I've got my nine rows done. So when you come to the edge here, you're going to chain 20 or whatever's going to fit around. I mean, everyone's different sizes, right? So I figure 20 is safe, but 20 may not be tight. So chain whatever you think. Um, it's hard to even measure. I chained 20 here for this one. It's about four and a half inches around like that. If I was to measure like that. So I don't know if that measuring around your child's ear will help that, but so I'm gonna chain 20.
and then I'm going to reconnect over on this side. So you can just single cro crochet across, do the same thing on the other side. You do the same thing, chain 20, and then reconnect and fasten off. You can slip stitch into this next stitch and fasten off. Pretty sure that's weaved from the corner. Probably not much, but. So it doesn't really matter which way this goes. Both sides look exactly the same. So you can pick whatever side you want to sew your skull to. So I'm going to pin this in place because you have a bad habit of things moving. And I want the face to be straight. So when I sewed my other one, I didn't sew through to the other side, but I don't think it would really matter if you did. Now I'm going to speed this up because learning to sew from me is not a good idea. Because I don't know, I don't, I don't sew well. Try not to pull overly tight on your teeth. You're just going to end up making them look funny. You can just leave. So you can, that's not sewn down so if you wanted to you could sew that down but um, just to keep the shape I'm gonna just put fabric glue on it and it doesn't have to be a whole lot of places you don't need to soak your work to kind of help. Oh, that might have been a little too much. I just want to make sure the shape, shape kind of stays. So this just kind of helps. That's 
that's about it. That's about all you gotta do. And then just, you can put a book or something on this to hold it down once you've got the shape. But there you have it, your skull mask. Thanks for joining me, guys. Mine might be a little crooked. Either way, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.